Hey guys, welcome back to our Discord Just tutorial. So in today's video, I'll be actually covering over Discord buttons. So before we get started with the video, I would just like to say that this is just a beta thing. So we're just gonna do this. We're just gonna mess around with Discord buttons. And when Discord JS released the version, uh, Discord JS version thirteen, I'm just gonna remake a Discord buttons video. So this is just. If you want to use Discord buttons right now, you can just follow this video or else you can just wait until the official release of Discord buttons. Alright, without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to install Discord buttons. So you can do this by doing npmi discord buttons. So it is npmi discord dash buttons. Just click enter and then you should install. I already installed it, so I'm not going to reinstall it again. So I can just do this. Okay, so once you have install the package um, just head on into your main file mine is in the so I'm just gonna head on in here we're gonna require uh, just find for your client definition as you can see my client definition is over here new client so if you're using my command handler uh, you should see something like cons client in index.js on line 2 or something all right just go under here uh, after the cons just do require and then you're gonna require discord buttons and we're gonna pass in client in here. Perfect. So next, um, I already created a file in. It's called button.js. Um, it's just like a normal file. Just go to commands, utils, and then uh, button.js. All right. So to use a button, we're gonna use um a property called message button. So let me just require that real quick. Require Discord buttons. All right, so in here, we're just going to do message button. Okay, perfect. So um, there's a few types of properties, methods. Yeah, um, stat style, basically the color, stat label is the title of the button, the ID, which we'll cover later on, on click button. And then set URL is when you want to redirect um, the button to a new page so basically when you click the button it's gonna open an external website all right so we're just gonna test it out with set style set label and yeah um i'm just gonna name this button one equals new message button all right and then we're gonna set style style and then uh, I'm just gonna give it gray. You can make it green. Um, just make sure there's no capitalization. Just make everything low caps because I tried using capitals and it didn't work. So just make sure make it all lowercase. And then next we're gonna do set label. Um, click this button. All right. And then uh, let me see what I wanna add. Um, I can set ID as well. Set ID. Let me just set ID to button one. Okay, and then we're gonna handle the event later on. So yeah, that should be it for the button. Next, we're gonna do uh message dot channel dot send, and then we can send something like uh click click this button to get a response. Okay, to add a button, just do comma, and then you can just pass in button over here, button one. All right, so. Uh, let's just test this out real quick. So let me just show you how it looks like. Okay, so now we're in here. We can just do Y button. And it should show up. Click this button to get a response. So when I click this, um, the button doesn't do anything. Because I haven't set anything to do. To handle this, uh, this interactive field, just, uh, just ignore this. We're going to fix this later on um so basically it doesn't do it doesn't do anything because we're not handling the event yet so now we're going to move on to handle the event but before that i'm just going to show you guys how to send two buttons at once so to do this uh let me just create a new button cons button two goes new message button this is if you want to send two buttons in a message set style uh let me just use something like red okay let me just make the screen so there's a difference. Okay, um, this will be send a send a uh send 
I like green. And then the next one will be red. And then we're going to set a label. And then just going to do send. I like red. And this will be set ID will be button 2. All right. After that, um, we can just to add a button. Just remove this. You can make it object, and then you're just gonna do buttons, buttons, and then it's equals to an array. So we're gonna pass in all our, um constants in here. So we can just do this button one, button two. Okay. So let me just leave it there, and let's just move on back into index.js. Um, just scroll down. We're just gonna make a new. Event so client dot on click button button. All right, so this is the event, and then we can actually lock the um. We can lock it by doing a uh, console the log button dot id, so we can know that which button was clicked. So let me just do that real quick. Okay, so let's just restart the bot. Okay, so let me just, let me see if I can do that. So we can like see it in real time. Never mind, I'll just switch windows. Okay, so uh, if I go back in here and I do Y button, I should see two buttons, so I like green, so I like red. So if I click on this, it should lock button one in here. Okay, as you can see here, it locked button one because uh, button one is green. That's why you lock button one. Next, we're gonna click on red. All right, and it should show button two. Okay, as you can see here, button two. So if you want a response, uh, you can see many methods in the website. I'll link this uh in the description. Okay, um, there is a lot of things you can access like the channel, um, the clicker, which gives a member or user object mm, yeah okay so uh, i'm gonna show you guys how to make a response like you will send a message according to the id so we can do this by doing uh we can use if statements for this so if button the id is equals to button one okay we're just going to message the channel the send message your channel oops it shouldn't be message channel. it should be button the channel send um i like green and when it's red we can do else if button the id is equals to red i mean button two we're gonna send a uh, button dot channel send i like red all right so once both of these are done we can just okay if you if you remember uh, there is this thing this interaction failed is because we didn't defer the button so to prevent this so it's like um it's like a complete message so to do to, to do this um all you need to do is do button dot defer so it will defer the button it will just like uh mark it as completed so yeah let's just test this out all right so um if i try to do this again by button okay so i like green it will say i like green i like red it'll say i like red okay so as you can see it doesn't show this interaction field anymore because i have this line over here button or defer of course you can put it inside like uh, button two or button one all right so in this case i want both of it to work so i'm just gonna put it in here so you can just like spam it or whatever um it will just keep on sending the responses so if you have any questions uh, i will link the um developer uh the dev of this package discord server in the description as well or else you can just join my discord server i'll provide the same amount of support um in my discord server if you want to watch more discord js tutorials stay tuned on the end you see a playlist that you can click on other than that have a nice day see you in the next video bye I ain't no stars, I'm a fool for your life.